Today I'm going to show you how to draw a portrait of a dark haired woman. This is perfect for the beginners. We're going to go in real time, step by step. You're going to love it. My name's Kurt. I'm a dad who draws. Come on, let's get started. First thing what we want to do is let's go ahead and establish a sphere. Right, that's that's going to be uh, my my sphere, my head. The next thing we want to do, and it, it's it's what uh, you want to determine where the two D axis is. Is is the head uh, twisting to the right? Not twisting, leaning to the right, or leaning to the left. That's the first thing you want to ask yourself. And in this case, she's doing neither. Her head is looking straight at us. All right, so that's the first. That was easy. You passed that, and you didn't even have to draw anything. <laughs> All right. Next, next we look at the 3D. Once we determine, once we determine where that axis is, and she's looking straight ahead. Now we have to, got to ask: Is she leaning her head back, or is she putting her head forward? And we could tell that she's leaning her head back by two things. One. You could see the underside of her nose pretty good, so that gives us one detail. The other detail, and you can't really see it in this picture, is the position of her temples to the top of her ears. So let me let me quickly show you where the temples are on this, and you could you could feel them. They're right they're right here on your own head. They're going to be right there and right there. Okay. In her ears, her ears are going to be somewhere back in here. Her hair is covering it. So we can see just by that angle that she is tilting up, okay? So we're going to use those two clues to help us remember that she is tilting up, all right? So let's let's draw that in there. So let's, let's just say this was her brow line, and it's going to have a slight, a slight curve to it. All right. Okay. Next thing I want to do is is locate the let's let's get this side of her head and I'll and then let's get this angle. This this will be a helpful angle right from the start. I'm going to show it to you. Look at this. Look at that angle there. That's a nice angle. All right. So let's let's just pop that into our drawing right out right out of the get go here. Right. And then I can see where her temple, her temple is going to be right there, all right? And let's let's be careful where we put the next temple now, but let's also look. Let's look across her whole head here. So, we've just let me just make sure, yeah, okay, I'm all right. We've just established that's where her temple is. And that's where her other temple is going to be, okay? And look at this. Look how far out that hair is, okay? So let's let's judge that distance, okay? We're just going to uh, go on to our picture here, and we're going to establish. Okay, we're going to guess. I'm going to guess it's right about there, that distance. And her hair is going to be just just shy of this. I'm just going to put a little mark right there so I, I have some, some idea of that. Okay, the next thing we want to look for is, if I look right here, is, is the center point, right? Right in between the two eyebrows. It's the gabella, or it's the evil eye, where that would be. And, and that's going to be right about there, okay? So... Let's get that in place as well. And we're going to take a measurement. And remember now, it's not exactly center. It's going to be off center just a little bit. Because she's looking in three-quarter view. Remember, we are shifting everything to that left side just a bit. All right, let's, let's drop a center line now. And it's going to have a bit of an angle, remember because she's she's looking up let's go ahead and drop another line in here look at this so this was this was that line that we already put in right there 
Now look at this next, we could almost draw a straight line right there. Okay, so let's do that. Let's just change the angle slightly, just like that. And then we can see that then, then this is going to angle in this way. You see that? I don't think I need to draw that in. I think you could see that. Let's try and get an idea where the bottom of the nose is now. So the bottom of the nose, I think, is going to be somewhere around here, just like this. Keep these, keep these marks really light. And then we could, we could just guesstimate that distance right there. And it's not quite, this isn't quite even, but that would give us a good mark to uh, guesstimate. So I'm going to put mine right about there. Now, if this is where my eyebrows, if this is where my eyebrows going to go, I'm going to put a little arrow here. I can kind of then look at uh, this negative space. See this negative space there, and make a guesstimation of where that is falling. So let's let's try and recreate that. Kind of peaks over here. Okay, I'm gonna erase I'm gonna erase our marks now. No, don't erase them. Okay, so we're, we're coming down now, and, and look at that. Look, there's there's my temple. Okay, that looks good. We're going to wide, open wide, and I'm just kind of following the uh, direction of her hair. And this is going to sweep, sweep in just like that. So I've gone very slowly, tried to map out... Uh, Landmarks. These are key points of her face uh, that, at least the outside, I'm getting a nice, um, a nice shape to, a nice volume to. Okay. Nice mass. All right. Let's go ahead and get this note. Let's start thinking about this nose here. All right. We're gonna come in like this, right, and then. Look at this right here. Look at this angle. I got this small angle right there. And then almost a straight line right there. And then it flares out. Now behind behind every mouth we call this the barrel of the mouth okay so we could we could drop that in and it that's going to help us kind of uh, form the mouth as we uh, now as we draw it so it usually is something like this and in a uh, young person like like she's pretty young I think uh, they don't those that barrel of the mouth doesn't really show up because Unlike me, who's old, you know, those, those, those lines start to show. But we definitely, this will help us to form the lips. You see that? Let's create our, our, our center line. It's going gonna, it's gonna to go over the top of the mouth. And then it's also going to go over the top 
of the chin. All right, let's let's start working on these eyes here a little bit, okay? So let's establish our eye line. And if that's my gabella right there, I can see it's slightly below that. Okay, there's a good eye line, I think. And I'm going to just kind of drop in a, a faint line for her, her chin right there. As long as I'm just kind of giving me something to start to build on. Okay, usually, usually we have uh, like you have the width of your eye, and in between your eyes is a third width. Okay, so it's like three eyes that are lined up. So let's go ahead and, and put the first one in, and just go really light here. I'm just gonna, I'm actually gonna kind of draw. The eyeball. It's easier for me personally to um, get these eyes in when I am uh, drawing eyeballs. Okay. I may have drawn that one too big. I'm going to roll with it. I also like putting a ball in or a sphere because it's easier for me to place to place the um, pupil. Okay, so let's just kind of put that. That's going to be shifted to the right side ever so slightly. And then so is this one. Now, one thing when I'm putting those in, one thing I am looking for, I'm going to zoom in here for a second. One thing I am, when, I, when I'm drawing the pupil in, I'm really focused on those negative shapes. What is, what is the negative shape of those, of the whites of the eye, okay? So that's what I'm looking for. Oh, you're doing a good job. Well, thank you. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and tone that. I'm going to just slightly tone in the, the pupil there just a little bit. All right. Let's, I'm going to zoom in here just a bit up for my eye work. And I'm going to move my picture over, I think. Oops. Okay. Okay, so as we get ready to draw our eye, let's, let's establish, let's put this point in first. This is going to be the, uh, the corner of the eye right there. And uh, when I put in the other, the other side, see I'm, I'm kind of putting that in there, and then I'm, well, look, the, the other side's a little bit lower. You see that? And as long as I'm right here, I'm going to show you, look at the shape of the eye. You've got almost a little bit straight and then a nice, nice long. This way it goes long and a little bit straight there, okay? So just remember that when we get to that point. All right, let's get that other eye in here. And I'm just going to guesstimate it just like that. Now, when I when I draw the eyelids, I want to think of them as going over, over the eyeball, over the eyeball. And it's going to peak early, and then I'm going to have this downward slope. Hmm. 
And then the other side is, is a slight F curve. So it's a slight S curve like this. I'm looking at that negative space of the whites of the eye. Alright, let's get the other eye in now. Same same process. There's there is there is this. So let's let's try and like get that corner there. Okay. And the other corner as I'm looking at it is almost straight across. It's about straight across there, I think. Is that right? Yeah, that looks good. Alright, so on the outside here, this is going to wrap around, remember. So we're going to come up slightly, and then a nice big curve here. Okay. And then the bottom, bottom is definitely a bit of an S curve, so that's... Okay. Now I'm going to go back in and, and adjust my pupils just a little bit. All right. Let's let's get this like. Uh, let's get the top part of the eye, uh, of the, uh, mm, of the eyelash, the eyelid, and it's the eye. The top part of the eyelid is is it's, it's folding down skin. Okay, that's what creates that's what creates the uh, that beautiful little line there. So let's let's look at it very closely here before I drop it in. So I want to I want to look at it closely. So I really get an idea of, of where it's thick, where it's thin, where it's close. And I'm going to start right here. It gets nice and big there. And it just kind of goes around the eye, just like that. And then the same thing. Where does it peak? Okay, I got that. It's going to come up here. It's going to come in there. Not worried about making it look like her. I only am concerned about the construction. Okay, let's get into this nose now. Since we're in since we're already pretty tight here. So let's just come around here like this. That's a nice little bottom there of it, right? And then I can see that this uh, nostril is almost in the same direction. Look at that. Same direction as uh, the bottom of her nose there. Let's bring this in. Let's get this wing back here. Look at the shape carefully. Okay. Let's get this wing. Uh, 
All right, let's add some tone here. I'm gonna, at this point, I'm gonna add a little bit of tone. Common amount of tone right here. But look at this. Now, this is important. Right along this edge here, it gets a little bit dark. It's probably too dark, so let me lighten mine up just a little bit. Okay. All right, let's work on these lips now. Making sure that things are all lining up. Let's, let's get to the top part. All we're gonna do right here is just kind of establish. And she doesn't, I don't know what this little part of the lip is right there, but she doesn't have much of it. It's just slightly there. Oops. Okay, now let's come down here and, and establish where this, so this is, these are the next marks I'm going to put on the map page. So I've, I've just kind of established that. Next, I, I want to establish that point there. I want to establish that right there. Those are, those are all the pieces that I'm looking for. So we got that. So let's, it's almost like a star constellation. Look at the relationship between those. All right, let's get the right side here first, the left side. All right, we're gonna dip down there. This is a nice slight S curve, so here we go. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> oh boy. Nope, I don't like that either. Look at that. See? Trust what I should be trusting what I see and not what I think, right? Somebody once told me that. Okay, let's get the, the very inside part of the lip right there. And all this is going to be is a literally a straight line. We're going to have a straight line coming back like this. Now over here you want to overlap. Look, see that, see that slight overlap I just created? Slight overlap. Okay, let's get this, let's not worry about the teeth yet, but let's just leave it open. Straight line going across that lip there. We really want to shift this.
I have to cut my lips down just a my lips I went too too far here. So it's all about making slight adjustments if you need to. So let's talk about teeth for a minute. Because she's got some teeth here. So first thing I want to do when I'm drawing teeth, I wanna I wanna tone in the whole mouth just a bit. Because the whole thing is um, it's in shadow it's way back in the back there and then all I want to do is once I have the all the teeth toned down just a bit then I, I don't want to draw the teeth all I'm gonna really be concerned with the dark areas so watch watch what I do here I'm just gonna bring this in like this and then I'm gonna bring this in just like that And that's it. I'm not going to do anything more in there. I could go back in now and, and kind of adjust these lips a little bit. And let's put just a slight tone in that top lip. Slight now. See, I even I can even see that this is uh, well, I made my lips go too far. Too far out. So you know you're you're always you're always adjusting. Always adjusting. Oops. Okay, it's a little. Okay. Okay, let's continue on here. All right, we've got the, that's the hardest part, I think, right? So let's go in and get these uh, eyebrows now. Let's, let's kind of establish the length of these eyebrows. Let's look at that negative shape between the bottom of the eyebrow and her lid, and her top of her eyelid. And just, I'm just gonna use, try and like just use straight lines here to uh, get this uh, eyebrow place. And then the other side as well. Okay, this is going to come all the way back here, right back into her hair. Oh, hey, Joe, how are you doing? I'm sorry. I I'm, I got so focused here, I didn't didn't notice you chiming in here, huh? Hope you're doing good tonight. Yeah, let's come back in now and and kind of uh, get the side of our face here, right? So we can start getting this to be. Uh, Honed in just a bit more. A lot of times in the corner of the mouth, if you just put a little bit of a shadow right there, you see you see that's happening, and and also over here, it uh, it works great to uh, pop that into place there. 
I'm going to drop a slight tone on the side of her face here, just slight. Just kind of following the shadow. Good, good. I see you're doing really good, Joe. Excellent. Okay, let's talk about hair. Oh boy. All right. Here's the, uh, let's look at this where this part is. Let's carefully place that. And then, and then we're just going to, let's just, I, I was thinking about this on the outside of her hair. Let's, let's create the outside border. Like we're going to draw the shape, but don't use any straight line. Don't use any curved lines. So watch, watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to, I mean, it's going to be a little bit flatter toward the top, and I'm just going, I'm just going to use some straight lines here, being careful that uh, I'm really looking at the uh, negative shape. Okay, this is going to come in here. How are we looking there? Great. It's going to. Just going to use straight lines right now. And this is going to come up a little bit higher. Trying to match just the shape in general. Okay, let's let's kind of follow some of this hair here and see what's going on. So I'm going to start at the top here. I'm just going to get a squiggle line here. I'm kind of following the, giving myself a nice curve here. Okay, I'm going to keep following this one down. And I'm, I'm using my whole arm as I'm drawing this. I'm not really using my wrist because I want a nice, nice, smooth, smooth approach to that. Okay. Let's go to the other side here and now I'm going to use, I am going to use my wrist and I'm going to use it right here. I'll show you. So I, I want to get this curl here. Then I'm going to come down a little bit further. I'll put this curl in. And then I'm going to put this curl in here as well. I'm going to start small. Smart, start with a taper and then get wide. And then, the, then it's going to come around the other side like this. You see this? Almost like a piece of ribbon that's cascading down the head. All right, let's get another piece. Let's, let's come up here maybe. And then another one is down here. All right. Now I could get a nice, nice long one right there, and then uh, maybe a short one. All right, I'm going to take a break from the hair on that right side there and come back to her eyes and get these eyelashes in here. OK, 
Okay, so I'm just gonna darken in that upper line there and then come back in and get her pupil. Same thing on the other side. And then underneath, and uh, right over here, I think, too. I'm going to add a little tone to the white of her eye, just a little bit. Look at this. Look at this area here. Um, let's see, is it over here? Is it going to be there? Look at this area right here where it's in shadow of her, okay? Look at that right there. Let's look at that closely. So above her eyelid, it's a little bit darker value right there. You see that? That's going to that's gonna help the top of her eyelid to pop off just a little bit. Let's do the same for the other side now. And I'm going to uh, darken the, uh, the lips a little bit that are on the far side going in the shadow. And her bottom lip as well. And then I'm going to get this slight shadow underneath her lips right there. And then I can also add some tone underneath her neck. Okay. <clears throat> Now, as, as I'm looking at my picture, I'm going to come back to the hair now another time, and I'm going to look at the I'm going to look at it and I'm going to like squint my eyes. I'm going to squint my eyes. And so when I squint my eyes, I actually can only see two main values. And let me, before we color it, let me let me show you where they are. Okay. So I kind of am seeing this as one large value. You see that? And then I see this. I'm almost seeing those two as the same value. And then this out here is the second value. Okay, so this, this area in green here is my second value. So I see it as two, right? So let's go ahead and put those in. Let's let's just drop a general value here. And we can come back later and darken this up. I'm just I'm just doing this to help me make a separation of values. Not even worry about hair detail yet.
Okay, I'm even going to drop her neck down just a little bit more. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this back side, this hair in the back here, because as we as we go dark on it, it's going to cause her face to pop forward a bit. And that should be quite nice. All right. Let's drop this back. Just looking for the shape here. Oh, you like this a lot. Good. I'm glad to hear that, Joe. So part parts of this where the where it's getting some catching some light. We can we can add some some things peeking through there. Where, where this comes in contact of her face, man, I, I really want to make that sharp. And then I'm going to come back into her eyelashes a little bit. All right, let's come to the other side. Be carefully now. Don't go too fast. Okay, now my neck remains to be uh, too too light, so I really need to drop another tone on that to punch it back. And then on the left hand side here, she has her uh, her uh, tendons. These are they come from the ears straight down into the pit of the neck, right there. Okay.
Oops. Now, coming back to her hair, for me on the right hand side there, I'm going to uh, push thick, thick and thin. Push down and pull up. This, this I'm going to make this a little bit thicker here. And then come in really tight and then thicken that up again. Same thing up here. I'm just going to come in tight and then Now, for her hair back in the back here, that is uh, catching a lot of light, I'm, I'm going to try and leave it as little, I'm going to put as little detail as I can back there. Maybe just, just come in just with a little bit and really just kind of let the imagination fill in all the extra. I'm going to erase, I'm just going to slightly erase this, this line over here. Where is that? Oh, I bet you it's right there. Okay. Oh, yep, there it is. Okay, so I, I hope that was helpful for you guys. Throw a, throw a thumbs up and a, a comment. Subscribe, all that good stuff. And that's it. That's what I got for you. Thanks for tuning in tonight. I so much appreciate it. My name is Kurt. I'm a dad who draws. You guys are the best.